Hello, it's Wanda Baker Hayward from Grace United Church, and today I have another guided meditation. So get comfortable and relax. Here we go. This is a morning meditation on kindness and helpfulness, again by Melissa Dormai of Shambhala Kids. Today we are going on an adventure in our minds. It will feel relaxing and fun at the same time. So when you are ready, close your eyes and listen to the sound of my voice. As you pay attention to each word, let your body relax more and more. Your neck begins to feel very relaxed. Your jaw is relaxed. And even your eyes and forehead begin to let go of all the tension or tightness. Your body takes a break from all the morning's activities and knows it can rest and be still. For these moments are in perfect harmony and peace. The rest of your body relaxes now. Your shoulders, arms, chest, and now your tummy, hips, and back. Your hands relax and even your fingers one by one. The relaxation now continues its journey down your upper legs, your knees, lower legs, into your ankles, down to your feet, and into each and every toe. Now your body feels completely at ease, kind of like you're floating on a cloud. As we begin this day, we focus on kindness and choosing to use our words gently when we speak to ourselves and others. We are going to pay attention to our thoughts and guide them in a way that makes us and others feel good. We do this because it actually feels better inside. We feel better and experience more happiness and goodness when we are kind with our words, thoughts, and actions. Today, we also focus on being helpful to others. When we help others, the other person benefits, of course. And, well, we do too. Helping others is kindness in action. Being helpful lets others know they are not alone. And it brightens their day. Think back to a time when someone helped you. How did that make you feel? I bet it was a wonderful gift. You can give that same gift every day by being kind and helpful to others with words and actions. Of course, not everyone is always so kind and helpful, but these are the people who actually need it the most. Maybe they never had an example of kindness or helpfulness. And by your example, they can choose to change for the better and be happier and kinder too. Now, when you're ready, take a deep breath and bring your attention back to where you are. You've done an amazing job relaxing and using your brilliant mind to think of things in new ways. So bring back all the feelings of goodness and allow that to guide you this wonderful day.